yo 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 i am bored so i figured i'm gonna show how i made this song even though i've only released it on youtube so far because i uh i wanted to paint the album artwork <laughs> and i've been lazy and haven't painted it yet so i only released this song on youtube so far but it'll be up on spotify and everything else soon anyway so if you want to hear the full thing, it's on my channel already. You can just go listen to that. But let's uh, go through the project a little bit at a time and break it down. So here's the intro. <laughs> okay. So first thing I got going on is this little thing. There's a lot of processing going on this little loop. <laughs> Clearly. Um, Cause it was very low pitch and bassy, obviously. So pretty much I'm just OTTing it. The frequency shifter is what's making it sound as boomy, I guess. I don't know. And just turn everything off. Play it one thing at a time. Alright, so basically just a drum loop that's been EQ'd. Okay, <laughs> nothing crazy. And then I have these sign boots, as I call them. So I rendered everything into, or almost everything into audio. Just to make it easier. But that is literally just sine wave in serum with glass lid as the attack. And uh, I wanted it to sound really clicky, so that's why I'm like compressing it super hard. And then I have this long feedback ping pong delay. And it's just being EQ'd a little bit, some reverb, distortion, first really dumb so pretty much just some sine wave plus with play nothing crazy there then there's this pad oops it would help if i <laughs> did that <clears throat> and it fades in over time so that was Something in the intro. Where is it? Um, should back before I started recording. There it is. Boom. So it's this labs preset, and I'm automating whatever this thing does. Because uh, <clears throat> when it's all the way down, it sounds pretty dry. And then I have <laughs> a whole bunch of effects on this thing. Um, so without them, it's just kind of like that. And then I am hitting it, EQ, you know, just compression and pitch shifting for some stuff just to get higher harmonics. <clears throat> I tend to do that a lot where I'll pitch up the mids an octave, kind of slowly blend it in and do that before your reverb and then hypertranscate doing the, 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 the eight notes and that's about it i rendered that audio next thing so that is this sophie loop here and then as it's looping i'm messing with the hoss effect and the ring mount here <clears throat> and I just randomly clicked in stuff to make it sound all over the place. That's why it's like pitching around because of the delay in the ring mode. And then I just um and then bringing in this little uh, 
eighth note bass line. Just playing some plucks. Bass there. Um, bringing in the lead as well. And then there's this clap. Which just has a really long pre delay on it <clears throat> with the reverb to make it be like taka, 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 taka. Um, and then I have this little melody here. That keeps playing and then everything builds up. And then we get into the main part here, which uh, I'll go over the mallet first. I think that's here. most everything. So that is straight up just a Reese and a uh, Kristoff thing played together and then distorted. So, got that, and then the lead. And throughout this song, I'm automating the amount of detune and cutoff and vibrato and stuff like that. And as it's playing, it's pitching around and you know, getting more vibrato, filtering in and out, and stuff like that. And then the drums, I honestly don't really like how I do the drums, but if I sat here fiddling with them all day, I would never release a song. And I finished this in like 12 hours, two days, banged it out pretty quick. So this is more of just like a, hey, this is a fun idea. Let's just finish it and do it. So anyway, um, drums. Idea with the drums was just have some kind of a break. Use the brakes. And then I layered that with some actual drums. And take the drums for some acoustic. Switch back and forth. Okay, just some of the fills here and and that just keeps going. <clears throat> The only different thing there was instead of the Reese, I used a eight of this, <laughs> which are <coughs> ridiculously over distorted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so I just did those pitching down. And then that keeps going, but I changed the melody.
then we get to the midsection. So I slightly changed the progression of the bass line, so it's not doing the same thing. <laughs> So slightly different melody, slightly different progression here, and I tried to make the drum sound a little softer too for this bit. They're not necessarily softer, they're just not like quite as, I don't know, it's just a slightly different tone I guess. And then I am, let's see, uh, low passing the Reese, so it's not as intense, same thing with the cutoff for the lead, it's going in and out, up and down, and then I have the gated pad from the intro being chopped up a bit with the progression too. And to be honest, it's not like exactly right, but I was too lazy to go back and do it properly. It's close enough. No one... <laughs> now you do, but if I didn't say anything. So that goes through here. Other little breakdown um, which is pretty much the exact same thing as the intro um, except now we have the lead playing this bit before it goes into the other part which is eventually going to lead back to the drop and I also have this acoustic drum build and here That's it. And then pretty much just repeated the same thing. There we go again. Out into the outro, which is the same thing as here, but slightly different melody, and I'll just bring everything out. <laughs> how I made the song so it's relatively simple I just did melody bass and drum <laughs> and yeah so if you want me to go more in depth about how I made anything just leave a comment and yeah I've been rambling long enough so if you enjoyed it leave a like and I'll see you next time bye